Hello guys, Jack here and today I wanted to put a little video together showing you how to record and upload 60 FPS gameplay videos to YouTube. Recently YouTube enabled the 60 FPS playback option at resolutions of 1080 and 720, allowing for some super smooth looking gameplay, higher bit rates and better overall quality. It's a great update and I'm going to show you how to get your 60 FPS footage out there. So in terms of software, I use Shadowplay most of the time. I think it's the easiest and fastest way to record games at 60 FPS. Very simple to set up, no performance hit whilst recording, which is of course very important, and the quality is great. I just prefer the simplicity and performance of Shadowplay really. You can use programs like DxTory and Fraps too, but they're a little trickier to set up and can hit your FPS pretty bad when recording at 60 frames per second. Now obviously to use Shadowplay, you're gonna need an Nvidia graphics card, and if you've got that, you can can download the GeForce experience so you're gonna have to go ahead and get that first link is down in the description below if you don't have it already when you've installed GeForce experience you need to enable shadow play to do this simply click on the shadow play tab in the top right and flick the on switch your screen might go black for a couple of seconds this is completely normal and when it's complete the green lights gonna be lit indicating that shadow play is activated now from this screen we can configure shadow play let's have a look at some of the options here by default, Shadow Mode and Manual Mode are activated. Shadow Mode allows us to capture up to the last 20 minutes of gameplay and Manual Mode lets us start and stop recording manually. Notice that you can also configure the amount of shadow time to capture. In this example, I'm going to set it to 5 minutes. For quality settings, click on Custom and set the resolution to In-Game. For frame rate, make sure it's set to 60fps. Recording at 30fps is also an option. As for bitrate, I leave mine at 50 and this gives me a great balance of quality and file size. The audio setting here will leave on in-game sounds, but if you want to, you can also record your microphone along with it. Before we go in-game, click on the Preferences tab at the top here. This will allow us to configure the Shadow Play on-screen display and also edit our keyboard shortcuts if we want to do that. I've got my status indicator and FPS counter enabled and these will appear in the top right hand corner of the screen when you're in game. If you want to you can also enable desktop recording from this checkbox here. Scroll down to keyboard shortcuts and you'll see that Alt plus F10 is for shadow recording and Alt plus F9 is for manual recording. At the bottom there is the location your videos are saved. You can change these two if you'd like but I just use the default video folder. Now that shadow play is configured we can load into game and capture some footage. Notice the status indicator and FPS indicator in the top right showing us that Shadow Play is turned on. When you finish your rampage and want to save it as a video file, press Alt plus F10 to capture the shadow recording. Notice how the symbol changes to indicate that a file has been saved. On this occasion, it's just captured the last 5 minutes of gameplay as that's what we set it to. Remember, you can always use manual recording mode if you want to by starting and stopping the video recording with Alt plus F9. There we go, look at that, a beautiful 60fps 1080p video file. Now at this point, you can actually upload the file directly to YouTube if you want to, but we're going to trim it down to just the good parts before we do that. So to do this, I use a program called Sony Vegas. Other programs like Adobe Premiere and Windows Movie Maker can do this too, but for now, I'll show you how it's done in Vegas. Open a new project and drag your video clip in. Click yes to match your project settings up with the settings of the video, in this case 1080p 60fps. Find the perfect moment by scrubbing through the clip and press S on your keyboard to cut it at the start and then again at the end. Adding a fade at the beginning and the end looks great too, hold down left click and drag a cross in the top corners of the clip to do that. Now we're going to add some colour correction and because we're going to use a AVC codec to render the video in a second the first thing we're going to do is apply the computer RGB to studio RGB levels found in the video effects tab and this will make your colours look a bit washed out in the preview but in the final video file they're going to be as accurate as they were in the original video file. I personally also like to add the colour corrector video effects and increase the saturation to around 1.15. This is a very subtle effect that makes the colours more vibrant. One last thing, right click on your clip and go to properties. Make sure that disable resample is checked. Now we've finished editing the clip, it's ready to be rendered. To do this, go to file render as and select Sony AVC slash MVC. Click the drop down arrow and select internet 1920 by 1080 and then click the customise template button. In this screen we only need to change a couple of things, set the frame rate to 60fps and change the bitrate to 20 million. Click OK and then click render. 
When the render is complete, you can upload it to YouTube. Log into your account and click upload, select the video file, add your title, description and tags. Once that's complete and the video is processed, you'll be able to watch it online in glorious 1080p at 60fps. What a treat for your eyes, share it with your mates, show off your skills. And there we have it, thanks ever so much for watching guys, hopefully this has shown you it's actually pretty easy to record and upload videos to YouTube at 60fps. You don't need a supercomputer, capture cards or crazy fast hard drives, you could always just use a program like Shadowplay and that's going to do most of the work for you. Like I said, I hope this helps you out and if you've got any questions let me know down in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.